Welcome everyone. Welcome back to Project Gorgon. Um, as you see, um, I have been meditating a bit. I have think been thinking about what I would do today. And since I have been talking to a couple of players about transmutation, augmentation, um, and whether or not uh, a new player would have to start immediately or wait until his higher level to continue with it. Um, I decided to make an explanation uh, video about both. And uh, I think it's very important that people have like a grasp of it uh, so they can decide for themselves whether or not they want to immediately do it or um, spend some time leveling up first, earning some money and then do it. So here it goes. So first of all, I will let you guys know where you can do it. Uh, there's two locations that I know of, um, and those are the easiest ones. There's one in Casino, and there is one in Serbial. So I'll be running to them right now. So first of all, you have uh, right next to Ragabir, there's the item workbench. That's where you click on it and there you can transmute your item. Now I will show you later. I will first run to Serbial because I have to be there for my my stuff. <laughs> uh, so if you see most of the you, oh, you know Katik, it just left of it. And then down this door here, around the corner, very easy to get. There probably is one in route as well, but I can't remember. <laughs> so, and it's close by anyways. So, let's go to Serbia. So when you come here in Serbia. It's extremely easy to find because it's right next to Marna. So if you see Marna here, she's right next to the table. Can be easier. So what is this augmentation transmutation? Well. Um, first of all, I am not going to s explain how to get it because personally I like figuring stuff out and I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. Uh, if you really want to know, um, I believe everything that you need to know to start with it uh, is marked uh, in the wiki page. So you can find it there. Um, so I will just explain how you do stuff with it. Uh, that's gonna be the easiest uh, Because people explained it to me like you need to have it, but I have no clue what it does so So basically what you do um, is first of all right now. I'm gonna take my druid bard gear uh, You just click on it and then you add an item that you want to transmute now <coughs> uh, For example, I will take an item that I would like to transmute. What I normally do is I transmute the yellows only. Now you can do whatever you want. Uh, it's your items, of course. But uh, in my opinion, I don't think it's very useful to do anything except the yellows. Um, so for example, let's say I will take Cloudy uh, Peltast Coat. And uh, as you can see, there's a couple of um, abilities that do damage. And right now I'm not interested in damage at all. Um, so I w yeah, you don't need to take them off uh, right now, but I will, um, I will put it on. So you click on it and then you can see that there's uh, these abilities on the item. The 100% is how much of durability it has. Uh, every time you uh, enchant, uh, t transmute to one of those abilities, uh, it will go down 20% 20, 20 I think. Um, 
you see the level and you see the quality. So let's say um, I don't want delirium damage because uh, I don't use it. Uh, as you can see, oh no, I, I do use it. No, it's not, no, no, okay. So I don't use that ability. So uh, right here on the right, you have all the options of what it could be. Uh, so there's like six options. Now what we want right now is I would rather have the healing sanctuary or regrowth than all the, the others because the, all the others are damaged. So um, what you're gonna need to transmute it is first of all you need the skill of course, um, which uh, you will definitely need to level. Uh, the higher the level you'll have, the more uh, higher level of items you can use, you, you can transmute. Um, and the higher level item you uh, you want to transmute, the higher level the flog will be. Yeah, there's different kind of flog uh, that you'll need. So for example, you have crude uh, flog, you have decent, you have rough uh, and shoddy. Shoddy is the worst, I believe, then it's rough then it's crude and decent, I believe, then it's nice, and then it's um, uh, astounding, uh, quality, and then astounding. Astounding is not used right now, but maybe later. Um, level 80 is quality, uh, level 70 is nice, I believe, and 60 is also nice. Um, so right now I want to change this one, so I will click the transmute. I have no idea what it's going to be, so you'll see. Uh, it's a bit random. Uh, it also says like uh, beware it's uh, it'll attune it to you. Uh, that's very important. Like I could not uh, transmute stuff for somebody else. Uh, it's great that there's a warning because um, yeah, <laughs> it's not possible. So once you click it, it's yours. You cannot trade it in anymore. So we got a bramble skin. Um, I got, I use Bramble Skin, uh, since I don't have that many healing skills on, uh, Druid. Um, well, it restores armor and boosts my armor, so it's really good, actually. I'm gonna keep that one. Um, <coughs> what do I have next? Blast of Despair. I don't think I use that one. I don't use that one. Um, ba -ba -bum -bum. I do use rot skin, but I don't use cloud side. Yeah, so I could change cloud side as well. So as you can see, there's something grayed out. That's because uh, that is the one I removed and I will not re-roll this. It's, it, they added it a couple of updates ago, I think. Uh, it's great because you used to keep re-rolling the same thing all over again. Like this, this time uh, around, we will not be rolling this one. So it's only five options we have. Uh, there you go. So cloud site removed. Uh, rot skill. Oh, that's good. I'm using rot skin, so that's perfect. I, I would love. I would have loved the heals. So if, if you really want to keep rolling for it, you can go purely for heals. Um, right now, it's just a level sixty build, so I I really don't care. Um, so normally, uh, as you see, if I click on this, these if I re want to re-roll this, these two will not be rolled. Um, the one I re-rolled was this one. You see, these two will not be rolled, so it's only going to be getting better. Uh, I do not know how far this goes, uh, but yeah, at least you can see what's not going to be rolled. So. so for me, personally, this is okay because uh, everything that's, no, not everything. I need to do the blast still. <laughs> I'm gonna reroll this as well. So blast of fury. Uh, uh, Won't unfall. Uh, you open this menu by going to the item wo workshop, uh, workbench. It's right next to uh, Marna. 
or there is one next to Ragabir in Casino. So you just click on it and then you uh, add the item you want. Uh, you can have it on you. you I, I, let, I'll show you. Uh, now I have it on me and you can still transmute it. Uh, if it doesn't work that way, he'll tell you you need to take it off. Uh, I believe it's for when you take off uh, an ability. I will show you later. Um, first, I need to do s not the Song of Discord, Blast of Fury. Um, uh, this is a really good example because um, there's only one more try. I only have 25% left. So if this does not work, I will be able to show you something else. So this is not bad. Uh, when you take damage from an enemy, you gain bar damage uh, plus 6%. I will keep it right now. Normally I would not, but for leveling, it's perfect for me because uh, I'm going to use Song of Discord and I will be doing damage. So every time I get damaged, uh, that damage will go up. So that's uh, kind of perfect. It's like a, an AFK build. You stand somewhere where, where there's a lot of respawn and you everything kills itself, uh, basically. Um, combined with bark skin, barbel skin, it's really good. Like so, now this is zero percent. Let's say you don't want this, and uh, you still want to reroll. Now that's not possible because it's at zero percent. But you can repair those. Uh, so then you need to go to uh, transmutation, and there you have repair transmutation damage. Now uh, it says level 10, 15, 25, 40, 70. So I'm gonna need the 40, I believe. Uh, now I, I don't need to do this and I can do this, I think, because I don't have those. Oh, I do, okay, I will show you. So right now it's at 0%. Um, it doesn't show on the, I oh yeah. On the bottom it says 0% durability. Uh, so you can actually see it above Attune to Sprout, there's 0% uh, durability. Now, if you want to reroll it, you can repair the item. It'll take you uh, a specific amount of uh, prisms. Now it says like you cannot do it because it's worn. So I have to unequip it. So you can't do anything wrong, really, like he'll tell you if you need to wear it or not. Um, there you go, so it's repaired. Now, if you see, uh, that 0% is gone and if I add it to the transmute it's 100% again now you can only do this once every week <laughs> well you're welcome Wong Tan um, so yeah you can do it only once a week um, which is very important to remember because uh, if you're trying to max, uh, max enchant and reroll every stat uh, it's gonna take you a while and it's a good idea to write down that you've uh, repaired something let's say on Monday so you log on Monday so you can repair it again or whatever because uh, it you might need to repair a, uh, a couple of times an item you can keep doing that uh, so it you don't have to be afraid to keep re-rolling um, sometimes it might be a pain and you have to re-roll like five six times um, so yeah uh, so that's that so I'm going to since I'm here anyway I will try and do the others as well uh, I'm gonna do the yellow ones first because uh, as you saw it costs you uh, some uh, nice log Try to do the yellows first if you want to do purples and reds and, and all uh, because it it goes really fast uh, and you might end up without any flog uh, but before <laughs> before you know it. So I did have, that's level 50, might not do that. Ah, there it is, level 60 ring. Um, Let's go for Blast of Despair as well. So it doesn't really matter which skill you're using. Um, it does show though, like this is a barred one, 60 to 75, it's uncommon. Uh, that's also a good thing to know. If there's like epic, 
most of the time they're way stronger than the uncommon ones um, so you might want to go for them depending on what build you want to do um, but yeah that's up to you basically um, so the nice flag is just uh, compared to the level so this is 3200 so it could be that yeah see if you click on it it says crude flog so I can't really do that right now because I only have uh, zero on me um, so yeah, and I, I have them somewhere else, so I can't re re really re-roll re them right now. I can only do the level 60 uh, or above. Um, that's also very important to, to know, because you're going to need um, to flog uh, low-level gear to be able to re-roll those. Um, so I'm going to do Blast of Despair. Thunderous note, okay. Uh, I am not doing that, so I want to re-roll it again. Well, that's not a good one. <laughs> I would like to have the song of Discord, please. Mm. Oh well, that's good. Minus four per four seconds on a moment of resolve. I'll keep that. Blast of Defiance. Don't use that either. So as you see, it's kind of annoying, like I, I couldn't do anything else anymore. Um, so I'm going to need to repair this if I can. So I will uh, open this again, remove this. How many do I have? Oh, got, got enough. <laughs> got plenty of, of that here. Oh. Need to take it off, unequip, repair. Um. Oh yeah, interesting damage. See, I got another thunderous notes, which I do not want. <laughs> so I'll try again. Uh, what I really want is this song of discord uh, or maybe all bard songs it, because uh, all that's useful well it's not what I want <laughs> as you can see it it can can be annoying like even though you only have like four options Like one more time. I only have four options and still I'm not getting what I want. There you go. That's better. So if I equip it right now, you can see that I have uh, a lot more damage right now. And now I have a um, chance to stun the targets as well. So it's an area damage and I have uh, a chance, 5% chance to stun each target every two seconds. So that's really powerful, I, I think. Yes, uh, you can, th these are actually dropped here. So uh, you can do it with everything. Um, except, I believe, no, I think you can still do the, the belts as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a really good thing. Now, I'm going to do some other things that might uh, interest you. Um, so, I might need to re-roll a couple of other stuff later. 
but what I will definitely do is uh, let's say let's say you have rerolled all your stats on, on an item and that, that you still want some more stuff on it uh, that's always possible like for for example this one is a yellow so it has five abilities but it can have a sixth as well now if it's uh, you have two options uh, actually yeah I'll explain the sixth first. So you can actually add uh, this augment on top of that. So what you do is, uh, I believe you, up, yeah, right click it and you apply augment and then you add the shoe and then you just apply augment. Now, how do you get this? That's a really good question. Uh, I got me uh, a Tentry boots, for example. Yes, that's better. Uh, so what I will do is I right click it and I do extract power. Now the best thing to do is get a green item. I know normally that's trash gear, you just throw it away. This lovely game has figured it out, it's not throw away anymore. You just, uh, you just choose the right gear. Uh, for example, right now I want Pulse of Life healing plus 27 um, and I will definitely get it. It's 100%, uh, like you can't lose. Like for example, if you take the blue one, you have two options. Now, uh, both of them are different skills. So if I want the bard skill, I will get the bard skill 100%. And if I want the druid skill, I'll get the druid skill 100%. Now, if both are at the s of the same skill, it's gonna be 50-50. So it's kind of a, a gamble. Now, if you have a yellow one, <laughs> it's gonna be one out of five. Yeah, you have to extract those. So for example, uh, I'm gonna t extract 10 tree boots. So I just uh, do extract power, and then you need uh, a specific item. For example, right now you need medium shoe contraption. Yeah, so I believe I have everything in Serbial. So yeah, I have 20 of those. And then you need this crystal. Now, the crystal is very important because th uh, uh, the system needs to know which type of skill you want, especially for the blue one uh, where I can choose between one or the other. Now, uh, this one is Druid, so I need a Druid gem. Now, uh, luckily, I have a couple of those. Uh, so the Garnet, it says on it, Associated Primary Skill Druid. So I can use that one to put in here and actually pull out the, the ability. So I just do Craft it. And as you can see, you get the augment. Now, as you noticed, I have do totally destroyed my gear. So do not do it <laughs> for gear you want to keep. I cannot explain uh, better. Like, do not do it with gear you want to keep. Uh, later on, when you have put the augment on an item, you can still remove it, but do not do it with extract. Otherwise, you will destroy your gear. Do it with undo. It's very important you do the undo if you want to keep the item. Um, well, no, you can't. If you have uh, an item, for example, my uh, my yellow item here. Um, I don't have to do anything with uh, extracting a power or something. You can just roll them. Like these abilities that are on there, you can just roll whatever you want. Um, but the uh, extracting of powers is just to add on top of it. So even if you're not done rolling, you can also put a power on it and then continue rolling. For example, let's say the pants. I have not done the, the pants yet. Let's see if I can because I only have nice flog on me. Uh, you cannot roll those. Uh, let's see, higher level, this one maybe. I have rolled this one already. Uh, thunderous node. No, I cannot. Uh, ah, I'll I'll do the purple one. Let's see. Uh, that's a necklace, okay. So I can remove uh, this amulet of uh, piercing mitigation. I'm gonna remove the power. 
I will add the red crystal because it says bard and I want to remove a bard skill on it. I will do this. So I will destroy my, my item and I get this necklace uh, augment of resolve. I will put it on the necklace and then I can still reroll them. So it doesn't really matter if you do it before or after. Um, so apply augment. You just add uh, the item you want and then you just press apply. And I'm wearing it, so I need to take it off. <laughs> That's stuff I forget. So as you can see on the item right now, like uh, it has enchantments. Those are the things that are already on there. And then it says augment and that's the one you just put on. Now, if you want to remove it, you can just, uh, as I said, undo, do not extract, undo, and then you can remove the augment itself and keep the item. Now, I will show you, I can still transmute this, but as you can see, you cannot transmute the augment uh, because it's like something you put on there, like, like for example, a gem you would put in a, a necklace socket or something. Like you cannot ch change it because it's stuck or something. <coughs> uh, but yeah, I can still re-roll the other items, uh, abilities. Uh, power, armor region. Is there anything I need to re-roll? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna re-roll, but I, I can re-roll uh, whatever I want, so. Yes, 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 wire, augment class. So uh, yeah, I, I can I can still uh, do that after uh, I done that. Like, um, do I have another necklace? No. I will I will show you with the 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 ring, so I can show you how to remove it as well. Um, so what I need to do first is I will remove uh, a power. And then I will uh, take a crystal, I, if only one crystal, so I can only take the bard one. So I will definitely 100% take Song of Resurgence Healing. So I craft it, that will destroy the ring, but I it will give me uh, the right item that I want. And I will do it the second time with this one, because uh, I want to eventually end up with one augment. <laughs> That's also going to be 100% what I want. See, so I got two of those. I will use the uh, lowest one to show you. I will apply it on the ring that I want. I will unequip it. So, augment. Oh, it already has. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you cannot put, uh, that's, per that's perfect. You cannot put an ability on there if it already has that ability uh, or it's higher. For example, it has Song of Resurgence healing plus 14 and I wanted to add the plus 11. So it doesn't stack. So you have to be very careful not to take the, the same thing. Uh, so it's uh, it's a good thing that I I failed there so I can explain. Um, so basically, you cannot put on the ring the Song of Resurgence, the Rotskin ability, that f f uh, fill with bile ability. Uh, th so basically, those specific abilities, you cannot put them on there. Um, so, uh, bu 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 bu. can I show you something else? Oh, yeah, 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 I have two boots abilities I should be able to show you with that. So I'm going to extract that one. Uh, as I said before, this is a green one, uh, especially for uh, wire. Uh, this green one will give me 100% certainty that I will actually get that certain uh, augment. Uh, all I need is these uh, contraptions. I will explain later why, uh, how, how I get those. Uh, you add the certain uh, gem. This one it says bard, so I can only remove the bard skill. I will destroy the gear with it, uh, but I will get the augment. So then I go to my boots. 
the question is, I have three of those. Which one do I want to keep? I will put the song of Discord on there. Yes. So I will apply augment, take the boots and put them on. <laughs> I will try that, man. Thanks. Um, so, so as you can see, uh, underneath uh, the uh, enchantments, you have the augment, song of discord. But I was like, oh no, this is not the one I want. I, I, I bollocksed, okay? So I'm gonna remove it. Like, as I said before, it is undo, not extract. Because if you, uh, you extract, you destroy the boots. So you don't want to destroy those, you want to do un undo. Um, so you go to transmutation, I believe. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's uh, augmentation, it's boots, it's gonna be armor, I believe. Nope. Uh, so yeah, as another explanation, there's a couple of augmentations. So you have ancillary uh, armor augmentation, that's for boots and helms. You have armor augmentation, that's for chest armor and leg armor. Uh, and as you see, it needs different things like these are small chest bobbles, small leg bobbles. Uh, the boots get uh, small shoe contraptions and small helm contraptions. Um, uh, what do you, yeah, you have jewelry augmentation. That's for necklaces that need small necklace armaments. And then rings needs uh, small ring or ornaments. And then you also have weapon augmentation uh, for main hand weapon you need small uh, main hand uh, beads and you need uh, small offhand beads and for gloves you need small glove beads um, so we're gonna undo the boots uh, yes so I need boots I will undo the boots uh, double check that it's undo <laughs> I cannot say you enough. <laughs> you do not want to destroy your max enchanted gear f uh, by accident uh, because it's really going to be really expensive. Uh, as you see, like I re removed the, the thing that I wanted. Now I want to add the thing that I really wanted. Uh, let's say Pulse of Life because I, I want the healing. I don't really mind the armor on myself, but the healing is going to be better. Now, those augments, uh, like uh, yesterday I heard that apparently you can't put a level 80 on, on a level 40 item. In my opinion, it's a bit silly. Uh, keep those for when you're high level because it's going to be a waste of money. Uh, but uh, I believe you can. So I'm going to apply that. And there you go. I have what I wanted. Now, how do we get what we want for for uh, for this? How do we get all the contraptions and all? I will show you what you can all get. Uh, no, this one. Okay, so this is the amount of different kind of stuff that you can actually get. Uh, they they range from small to medium to large. For example, level 80 uh, stuff obviously needs the large stuff. The low level stuff needs small and intermediate is like medium. Uh, so it, it'll depend on the level. It also says like, for example, here the medium shoes is from 31 to 60. Uh, the small is one from one to 30 and the big one is 61 to 90. Um, so how do you uh, do all this? Yeah, <laughs> I, I I rarely use those. I I should start just uh, extracting stuff, um, but yeah, you know the game distracts you. Um, so what do you need to do? Uh, first of all, you get the skills. Uh, as I said before, uh, it's on the wiki, so I'm not gonna explain it to anyone because I like to keep some secrets for people so they can discover it themselves. Um, uh, what you do is, uh, I don't need those anymore. 
I, I'll, I will need th that one. I'll destroy this one. So basically what you do is you click on, uh, on the item and you have two options. You can say decompose into contraptions or distill into phlogiston. Now the flog, as you noticed, um, you need those to, uh, to do the, uh, the transmutation. So it will, it'll show here, that's the stuff you need. Uh, depending on the level, you will get different flogs uh, and then you can uh, transmute different level of gear. So that's an easy one. Uh, it's also nice uh, to do that if you're running a dungeon. People always complain uh, that they don't have enough space. Like I don't have that many slots, so I, I flog everything. And I end up after a dungeon, I don't know, 400 flog of something. Um, and then you just use that for whatever or you just sell it. Because um, everybody needs it. It's, it's going to be very uh, handy to do that. Uh, or you might decompose into contraptions. Because there's two things you get from that. Um, depending on the level, you will get either only the items that you, uh, you've seen here. Uh, Oh, either you just get this, or if it's high enough level, I believe it's from red, purple, and yellow, uh, they give uh, the chance to get the uh, the prisms. Uh, so the large prisms come from the high-end level, so 61 to 90. Uh, the medium get from 30 to 60, and the low end is from level 1 to 30, and that's on the small prisms. Um, to the higher level... It, uh, the higher quality of item. So for example, the yellow ones will have the option of getting, I don't know, six of those prisms and the red might have one or two. Uh, so if you really want the prisms, uh, you want to go and, uh, what was it, decompose? Uh, yeah, decompose a uh, higher quality of items. Uh, if you just want to get rid of the item Personally, uh, I just I just go for the flog, but you need those contraptions for uh, extracting gear. So if you really want to extract gear uh, uh, like augments, you need those as well. So if you don't need those, you can just uh, buy the the prisms. It's not super expensive, um, and then you can use those to flog because you really need prisms to flog. Uh, as uh, I will show you, if I want to distill this, uh, I need one medium prism, which I do not have right now. Um, do I? Oh yeah, I do. So if I want to flog it, I just click this uh, distill item and then I can flog it. Uh, I will do that right now. It's not super long. Uh, as you can see, I just got three decent flogison. Oh, that's good. I can uh, I can uh, reroll that ability maybe. And as you see, I still have one medium prism because it's not a hundred percent. I don't know what it said. It said ten percent chance to be consumed. Um, depending on the level, it'll be more. Uh, I believe large is fifteen. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a bit higher. Um, so yeah, um, that's how you do it. Let's see if I can reroll that one. Was, was it blue? No, it's purple. Oh well. Was that was that clear for you guys? Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. You can actually add um, pockets and stuff uh, on your gear. Um, there, you have like a, a point system. Uh, it's it's not showing up, I believe. Maybe let's see. Let's go to leather working. No, it's not leather working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tailoring, yes. You can add pockets, for example, to a shirt. 
and then it says plus one inventory slot uh, consumes 12 craft points. So uh, an item has 20 craft points, I believe. Um, so basically you can, you can add something until the 12 points are gone. But as, as you can see, there's like 12 crafting points. So you can actually just do one of those. Um, I believe there's an option to have 20 uh, item slots on it. I, I don't know how. <laughs> I'm not an expert uh, in tailoring. Uh, but yeah, uh, that also consumes, I believe, the the slot for um, for the augments. So you have to be careful which one of those you want. Oh yeah, for example here. Like here you can see uh, inventory slots plus 20. But I'm not completely sure about that, but there's always an option to add that as well. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now you can see it's 120 craft points, for example, on this one. This one only has 100 uh, craft points because it's level 70. Uh, I'll have to check. Where's my crafted? Not using the right one. Hang on. Yeah, as you can see, it always shows up. Um, I believe it's the max enchanted stuff or the, the crafted stuff by players that have the craft points where you can put stuff on it. So what I had I have not explained yet. Uh, it's it's not about augmentation or uh, transmutation. Uh, it's um, about like crafting stuff. Um, you can have a max enchanted gear. For example, this one is a max enchanted gear. Uh, it does not have five uh, enchantments on the yellow one. It has six of them. So uh, what you might want to do is when you hit eighty, and after you've transmuted stuff and you have augmented stuff and whatever uh, you might want to spend a little bit more money uh, it could be also a lot more money <laughs> to get their entire gear a uh, max enchanted um, it might cost you a couple of million uh, just so you know um, but don't be afraid uh, when you're level 80 uh, as you can see it's not that hard uh, if i can do it everyone can um, so then you can actually get like six augments plus uh, uh, six enchantments plus an augment, which is very, very uh, handy. Uh, and if you can decide yourself what you want on it, uh, as you can see, uh, as you can see here on my buff for Psy Health Wave, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Look at the amount of buffs I have. Uh, Uh, come again, purple, um, ageless. Will purple work for what? For augmentation and transmutation? You can do it with any color. If that's what you mean. Ah, uh, no, the six enchantments is, uh, is, is uh, it's not gonna be p possible with purple. Because purple normally only has four, but if you max enchant it, it will have five. So it is possible to have a purple one that has uh, as much enchantments as the normal yellow one. So that's possible. The thing is, um, when you craft a max enchanted item, you have to add a lot of uh, items to it to craft it. For example, there's Vervadium and the yellow crystals. Like you've probably seen the yellow crystals at the, the, the raffle. Uh, you will need those. Um, but it's random. So basically you could get a blue one or a green one out of it as well. So it's it's some people actually need, uh, unfortunately, some people have the, the, the bad luck and need more than 60 uh, attempts on it to actually get one yellow. There's also people who are really lucky and get it from the first try. So it's like a gamble. 
but yeah it, it's definitely worth it um uh like if you really want to figure it out um what i did is i looked at the wiki uh for example this uh position interfering uh, ring it's it's just uh it's just a recipe you can just look at the recipes and decide like hey uh, this miracle uh avoid cha death or the evade, evade pro uh, projectiles that's what i really want and the rest is just details because you can have this ring for any kind of skill because all you need to do is add uh, specific gems to it to actually give the enchantments that you want from certain uh, builds. Uh, you mean extract the enchantments? Yes. Uh, problem is, if you want to extract an enchantment from a yellow one, there's a chance that one of those will uh, get removed. You cannot choose the only thing you can choose is you can choose which skill it's coming from. So, for example, this one is Mentalism Priest. Uh, so I have the option of choosing Mentalism or Priest, but then I still have three options that it'll remove. So if I really want the Psy Health Wave off of there, uh, I have a one in three chance. The best thing to do is uh, take a green one with only one uh, enchantment and just have a 100% chance to take it off, or a blue one, uh, that has two different skills on it, then you also have a 100% chance to take that from a specific skill. But you have to make sure you add the right gem to it to get the right skill. So that's why you might want to keep the crappy gear uh, just to uh, extract the augments. And I cannot re uh, explain ag uh, again and again uh, like be careful not to extract stuff from your gear that you want to keep if you want to remove an augment from a max enchanted item or whatever something you want to keep do undo <laughs> it's the undo ability not the extract ability No, like you cannot remove all the enchantments at the same time. You can only uh, extract one uh, enchantment, but then it's destroyed. Like you can re-roll them. Like uh, I will show you again. You go to the workbench. You add a specific item. Yep. And then you click, for example, I don't want to do damage. I will click on this. And then you have the option like this is the chance like this is going to get rolled, one of those. And you have a chance of getting more, again, damage or some healing or rally healing. It's it's random. And you can do that with all of those, but you can't remove everything and do something else on it. If that's what you mean. Is that clear enough? And uh, the the thing. No, no, it's not possible. It's just, uh, so you can only. Um, so what what you the best thing you can do is like get a yellow one, from the skills you want. Uh, for example, the trick most of the time is let's say high end level. You're you're going to defend Povis. You do the the the, the defense, and every time you go to the board to get your reward. Uh, what I do is uh, most of the time I heal. You, you can also see that in my in my uh, streams. Uh, I heal, and then when I arrive at the board, I switch to Fire Priest, for example. I click on the board. I get the rewards, but it's from for Fire Priest. Uh, so all the items are gonna be Fire Priest. Maybe some other ones, but most are gonna be Fire Priest. And then I switch back to my healer build. Um, so. That way, I'm sure that it's the right build, and then everything on there uh, I can I can just mi uh, min max as much as I want because that's those are the only options for fire priests that are there. 
Um, and then I can add the augment that I want, that I can just extract from items myself and put on, on it. And then it's it's done and it's it's perfect then. Uh, and afterwards you can go for uh, max enchanted gear. But yeah, it's not for for new players just hitting 80. <laughs> Unless you're filthy rich from the, from the get go, and then it's possible, I guess. But yeah, there there's a, a an extreme amount of uh, yeah ability to to change stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna remove that as well. Yeah, no worries, man. However I can help, glad to help. I'm going to apply this. 100 armor, hell yeah. Oh yeah, need to unequip it. Now, uh, normally, like this is low level. Uh, normally, I don't um, do the put in the effort of augmenting everything. Uh, it's it's not worth it. Yeah, it's nicer. Uh, normally, I I don't uh, don't want to spend that much time and money and effort into uh, leveling uh, augmenting new low level gear. But especially as a healer, you don't need to. Uh, but it might be very interesting. Like, let's say you run around with friends. Um, you have the option of actually augmenting your own stuff. Because you kind of have to. Because every time you transmute something, it'll be bind bound to you. So be careful. If you can do it and you want to give it to a player, it's not possible. Uh, every, every player has to do it themselves. So that's kind of the problem uh, with... Uh, transmutation augmentation it's good I love it like I, I don't want anyone else to do it for me it's it's great that it's the game forces me to do it now the big problem is do you want to start it uh, early on now I think that's something you need to uh, figure out yourself I think for me yeah the item becomes bound to you if you transmute it it will give you a giant warning so you cannot miss it um, now the problem is, would you want to spend time and effort uh, doing everything to get it early on? You might want to, uh, it depends. Like if I was like main tank, like the entire game and I knew it in advance, I might want to put in the effort. Now I say might because it's a lot, a lot of effort and it's gonna cost you a lot of money too. So it's gonna slow down your progress e extremely. Uh, now, I was level 80 before I actually knew about this and I just put in a lot of money uh, because at level 80 it's a lot uh, easier, especially with da dailies nowadays. Uh, for example, you do dailies, you get like 60, 70,000, you just go buy stuff you need, you go to the, the guy, you give him favor items and you train and done. <laughs> uh, now, if you're not uh, high level, it's going to be harder because you're gonna need to, uh, to find the items uh you have to you grind the items and then go there um maybe by the time that you actually get the stuff that you want you will be f like 10 levels higher uh yeah I, th I think the best thing is wait until 80 and then invest uh time in it uh also when you go i i think most of us have done gk uh just ga uh, gazla keep we just run Gazla Keep and then uh, we level our augmentation. And I believe you get from 1 to 50 augmentation in one run for all of them. So it's like 4 or 5 dose from 1 to 50 in one run. <laughs> like doing that at low level is, is going to take a while. Because um, I don't know. I think you get way more XP from high level and and like a lot of yellows and stuff, and it's it's just ridiculously easy to do it at a high level. Um, but yeah, if if I would have been able to to enjoy uh, min maxing everything and like tanking, 
uh, th that would have been nice. Because uh, cause I, I was talking about it a couple of days ago and uh, people actually did, uh, for example, Cascrim, I believe she, she has, uh, she was able to get all this uh, transmutation stuff at level 20. So she was able, able to level with um, enchanting everything. Uh, I think that's that's also really nice to be able to do that, but yeah, I don't know. It's all it's all up to you. Some people like uh, crafting arrows. <laughs> I I don't. So. <laughs> it's it's definitely worth it. Uh, it's definitely worth it. I think, uh, especially if you want to go the slow route with some friends, just do everything and discover stuff but i don't think you will discover this until you're level 80. <laughs> yeah it's it's good to learn uh early but as i said like since i'm focusing on healing i've never had any game where i needed to uh like even care about gear uh when i'm low level since i'm only healing if you really want to do hard dungeon runs uh, at low level and you really want to go, for example, to Serbial Crypt all the way to, to the bottom at really low level, then it might be interesting. But like, will you be able to get the prerequisites to get to augmentation and transmutation? I doubt it. Because you need a specific skill at a specific level, which I'm not going to reveal. <laughs> um, before you can actually get to it. Plus you need to get be able to get to certain uh, characters who are in certain higher level areas. So it's, it's all also really, really hard. Maybe if you get help. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Le buying a level eighty gear at le uh, at level twenty with no stats, yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Like the, the g g generic ones for the extra extra sockets, yeah. The pockets are are amazing, so good. I think I have one of those here, like this one. Yeah, you get like seventy three armor, <laughs> and like. Plus four seventy health, plus sixty two power for combat refresh. Yeah, it's it's that's a good one. Yeah, I I got that one and I got this one. Uh, so it's like what was it? So it's twenty one, and one, twenty one. So forty forty two slots, at at let's say level one. <laughs> while you're how, how do you how many do you have when you start like 40 maybe it's like double them oh really okay yeah it's definitely worth looking into um if you want to make a new character and i uh, just give it to you, your new character um I, th I think if you want to start over and you know the game and maybe you want to play, I don't know, a fairy or something, that then it might be interesting to do. Because you really don't want your fairy to die. <laughs> and it might be uh, definitely worth uh, transmuting stuff and augmenting your gear so that you die as little as possible. So feel free to, to uh, come and get those. <laughs> I'm gonna hide them. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely worth twenty k though.
in my opinion, it, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, it's it's defi definitely worth it. It's just, uh, it's it's so good uh, being able to um, get everything you want, basically. Like right now on this song of Discord, I I've did a couple of things here. Uh, I got more trauma damage. I got a stun on top of that. Uh, yeah, it's really good. You sold a lot of pork. <laughs> yeah, pork is good. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so what you can gonna have to do for uh, all this is you're gonna have to favor up five characters. Uh, you're gonna have to, oh, sorry, six characters, and then you're gonna have to level all six of those, unlock all six <laughs> to 80. Uh, so yeah, that's that's gonna be quite expensive to so start saving. <laughs> but hey, if you're 80 and you're doing all the dailies, it doesn't really matter. But then again, if you're if you're not, you can do low level stuff and start uh, doing that. Or you could just buy the augments, for example. Uh, you can do that as well, uh, and just put them on. Uh, I don't know if you can put them on. <laughs> actually, <laughs> you're gonna need the skill too. So yeah, I think uh, that's about it. Uh, I don't think I can teach you more about that, about this. So if you have any other questions about this or something else, feel free to ask. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna end the stream here now so I can upload it easier, maybe get it to YouTube. And uh, I will see you in five minutes on another stream. Be right back. <laughs>